when I get to come out to these launches. This time it's uh, Cervelo, hence the, <laughs> the branding on my jersey. Um, but basically, yeah, we're here for the, the P5X launch. Uh, it's the new time trial triathlon bike. I actually, scrap the time trial, but it is a triathlon bike. It's not UCI regulated. You could use it at your local TT, but it's not, it's not a legal bike. But anyway, they're all out on test at the moment, so while they're uh, getting spun around the block, I've been given this S3 disc. Yeah, it's the same as it was the same as last year's one, uh, apart from obviously discs. A few little tweaks here and there, like the handlebars, seat, obviously bolt through uh, forks and so on. But I'll go into that later. All in all, the bike's pretty much the same, riding characteristics wise. The bars do seem to make a bit of a difference. I don't know if it's just me being you know, psychologically, but you know, it's a, it's a really nice nice bike, very smooth. Definitely a bike I want on my, on my wish list. Maybe when I get rid of my Cannondale, I might switch to one of these. It is a very smooth, fast bike. Um, it's not brutal at all, it's quite comfortable. It might be because it's got 25s on at the moment on MV rims, so the blow up to kind of a 28 because the rim is quite wide. But uh, all in all, I do like this bike. Okay, so a quick look at the bike in detail. Cervelo don't launch bikes for the sake of it. They only launch them when there is a significant performance gain. The S3 disc is one of those. There's three main features. It's 9% light, um, sorry, 9% stiffer, 40 grams lighter, and it's two watts faster. And you can go laugh at two watts, but the fact is it's faster. You, even if it's like half a watt faster than a rim brake bike, it's still faster. There's no debate now. Not only that, you can stop quicker. You're gonna have more control. Everything about it makes them safer and faster. So it's simple as that. The S3 disc is an awesome bike. It's not a cheap bike, but it's an awesome bike. This is the Di2 Ultegra version. It comes with the MV 3.5 rimmed uh, wheels. It's just not an actual Chris King or DT hub. It's uh, Cervelo's own hub, but with the MV rims. It does come with external battery mount for Di2, which I thought was a bit strange, as they do come with batteries inside. The other version is a standard Ultegra um, with head wheels and standard bar. This one gets the carbon bar. They also do the E-Tap version, which comes with MV 5.6 rims and the carbon bars. And it comes in two colours, this white one and a red one. All in all, I love this bike and it's definitely one on my shopping list. 